Welcome back to SDO Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and I'm here with author Laura Herring. Laura is an author and a businesswoman here in St. Louis. And your business, the Impact Group, is chronicled in your book yes. um, in great detail, the growth of it. And you're no longer involved with the business uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Your right. daughter, Lauren, has taken over. Yes. So tell us about that. Well, she didn't intend to get involved with the company, but in 2001, I got the first of two breast cancer events. And when she found out, she was interviewing, in fact, for her first job. So she was in Dallas, and we asked her to fly home, and we wanted to tell her face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. So when we told her, she took it in, but was really pretty quiet, went back to Dallas, and a week later said, i got to come home, Mom. I want to be with you during this time. Mm -hmm. And she says, can I have a job though? <laughs> and from we said, well, you got to start at the bottom. And she goes, that's okay. So anyway, she's been a superstar ever since. So she she rose up to the company and she's yeah. now running the business. She's now running the business and she took it global. She and I made a business trip to Europe and I was writing the job description on the way back because we were testing the waters. And she says, what are you doing? I said, I'm writing the global director of uh, Impact Group's position. She says, I could do that. <laughs> and so now she has brought it to 33 countries worldwide. So that's a lesson for, not, for entrepreneurs as well, is when to let go. And yeah. how, how was that? Was that hard for you? You know, I didn't think I was ready to retire. Um, because we had just gotten the biggest contract of our life. We grew by buying an outplacement firm, Spherion, and it was quite a large national company. And so we had it on our sites for a long time. But anyway, they came to us and asked us to buy them because they wanted us to treat their clients right. So what happened was we bought it and we had it for two years. And we started selling outplacement here and there. But then in 2008, when the crash came, mm -hmm. Uh, GM called us and say and said we'd like you to do 40,000 outplacements for us and they didn't put it out to bid they said we love what you've done for us for a relocation for 20 years we want that same level of service 40,000 people 40,000 people and uh, that was a game changer for our company mm -hmm. I bet it was yeah and Lauren was there Lauren was there she helped she helped project management she was terrific mm -hmm. and but the opening scene in the book is we're in a a plane and we're about to go down and my husband says if we survive will you promise me you'll you'll retire mm. and so I thought I was going to die so I said yes <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, and you had to stick to that promise. Yeah, I had to stick to it. So the book, um, now you have you you talked about your breast cancer that um, your first bout yes. when Lauren came up and, yes. and helped you out with the business and at home, and um, now breast cancer um, fundraising and awareness is a part of the book. But, yes, in fact, I'm passionate. I got diagnosed again in 2014. And we were all shocked, including the doctors. It was a different kind of cancer in the other breast. So we took care of that. And I'll tell you, Siteman is a star because they had the technology for personalized genome treatment. Mm -hmm. And that changed my life. So I was excited about that. And so what we did was, um, it was while I was writing the book. So I went back and looked at the rest of the book. And I started adding pieces on how to deal with breast cancer if you got it and how to take care of yourself, get the best treatment. And all of the women watching this, I hope that if they ever get breast cancer, they go to Siteman because they are the only ones who have the genome testing mm -hmm. and all the other hospitals sends it to them to test. And that means they can tailor your treatment. So what I've decided to do with the rest of my retirement, which hopefully is about another 30 years, mm -hmm. is to uh, donate all of the profits to my book to uh, breast cancer research at Siteman and I'm also going around the country talking to corporations and asking them for significant donations. And in turn, I'll give them a keynote speech and I'll give them 
a certain number of books for their their people. Very nice, very great. Well, no better person to do that uh, keynote speech than Laura Herring. You can purchase No Fear Allowed and discover more about Laura and her on her website, lauraherring.com. There's more SDL Live after this. Stay with us.